If you're new to muzzle loading or just new to Blackhorn 209, you might be asking yourself, is this stuff corrosive? If I don't clean my muzzle loader right after using it, is it gonna cause problems? Well, we're about to find out today. All right, so what I got here is my CVA Optima V2 muzzle loader. I took this to the range last week to get it dialed in for the January muzzle loader season here in Texas. I shot it 20 times with a 100 grain by volume load of Blackhorn 209, and I have not cleaned this yet, and I did that on purpose just so that I could do this video and show you guys. Um, are we going to see any rust? Are we going to see any sort of pitting? I really doubt that. It's only been a week or just any any issues cleaning it in general. So what I'm going to do is go through the rifle, take out the breech plug, show you what it looks like before cleaning, and then maybe put a few clips of cleaning the rifle, but that's not really the point of this video, and then show you afterwards and see if we can tell is Blackhorn 209 corrosive and if so, how much? So really what we're doing is looking for rust and any signs of corrosion. Before we take a look at the rifle, I wanna look at the canister of Blackhorn 209 and see exactly what it says. So I'm gonna zoom in for you. It says, although Blackhorn 209 is clean burning, any propellant residue can still trap moisture in the bore. Clean firearms promptly after use. So we haven't done that and I haven't done that on purpose so that we could you know, do this video and see what happens if you don't clean it for a week. Avoid products intended for removing black powder fouling or water-based cleaners. So because it says water-based cleaners to avoid that, I'm not gonna do the old trick of filling the bore with boiling water and letting it sit to kind of break it up. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna clean it per standard per usual with you know patches and solvent and stuff like that. Um, and we'll see what happens. So let's take a look at the rifle now. Also, I want to note before I show you the gun that on the canister of Blackhorn 209 itself, it doesn't say anywhere specifically that it's not corrosive. It doesn't say those words on there. So that's interesting. All right, for the sake of being thorough, let's take a look at the outside of the rifle first, which I don't expect to see anything. Around the breech plug looks nice and clean. Outside of the gun looks nice and clean. We'll flip it around, look at the other side real quick. Flip it, get it canted correctly. Other side of the breech plug, no issues at all. No, no black residue, no rust, no anything. And we'll take a closer look at the bore. All right, so I had to get the lighting just right, but there's the bore. Um, again, I fired 20 shots of 100 grains of Blackhorn 209. I did not swab between shots. You're not supposed to have to. And the bore is absolutely filthy. And then taking a look at the breech plug, I just cracked it open. Um, no issues there, it's just dirty, but I'm not seeing any sort of rust or or corrosion per se. Here I'm just breaking the rifle down. I'm taking out the breech plug. I'm gonna take the fore end off right here, take the barrel off, and we are ready to start cleaning. So now we have the rifle broken down and ready for cleaning. Let's take a look at each part and see if we can see anything. All right, first up we'll look at the breech plug. Again, the back side looks fine. It's just dirty. The threads are completely fine. I had those coated in a good anti-seize grease. Not expecting any issues there, but inside the breech plug is absolutely filthy but I'm not seeing any kind of rust any kind of uh, corrosion at all you can even see the flash hole there um, it's totally open still which is pretty cool I mean that says you can keep on shooting this thing even after 20 rounds and you shouldn't have any issues at all I know that Blackhorn has at least supposedly tested to thousands of rounds without cleaning between shots so no surprises there, no issues seen. All right now we'll look at the receiver, looking inside back towards the firing pin. Uh, again, no issues, it's just dirty, no rust, no corrosion, no nothing. And of course the breech looks totally fine, the threads are coated in grease, I wouldn't expect to see any issues, but I think the real, the real truth will be told once we swab the bore, and yeah, I can't really see down it like this with this camera. But once we swab that bore out and take a look, I think that's when we'll know, you know, whether there's any issues leaving Blackhorn 209 unclean for a week. All right, here I am cleaning the bore. I'm going to cover the scope lenses with some plastic bags just to be safe. I'm going to swab the bore with solvent patches. Here I'm taking out the firing pin and those little parts. I'm going to put them in a part soaker so they can just start to break down. And after that, I'm gonna swab the bore some more, do it, hit it with a brash brush, and then eventually I'm gonna run some clean patches through it, and then some anti-rust patches, and that's about it. I mean, it was really easy to get clean, no issues at all. All right, at this point, I've got the rifle cleaned. Let's take a look at some of the parts. So, first up, we've got the firing pin right there. We got the firing pin spring and the little firing pin I don't know, plug you might call it, I'm not sure what that piece is called. 
and none of these showed any sign whatsoever of corrosion or rust, nothing like that. They were just nice and dirty. The breech plug, though, something I noticed um, when you wait a week between cleaning, this was really hard to clean compared to the last time I cleaned it when it was, you know, next day, or I think it was actually same day. Yeah, it was same day. This was a lot easier to clean. Um, when you wait a week, it kind of kind of bakes on, at least that was my experience. All right, so now that everyone's waiting for the bore, I'll see if I can get it to focus down there. All right, it's looking pretty good. So the bore is nice and clean, no rust, no corrosion, no nothing like that. I was able to get it clean just with solvent patches and some clean patches and rust preventive patches that are ran down it and it it looks basically good as new so no issues there with with blackhorn 209 leaving it in there for a week the one possible exception to all this i don't know if you can see it if i zoom in the camera will unfocus i'm gonna leave it right here right there on the periphery of the muzzle you can see some little spots right there that's just residue like powder residue that is really hard to get off i got most of it off but there's a few spots left that it's just kind of baked on there um i'll get it off but it, it doesn't look to be rust or corrosion or anything it's just really really baked on residue all right y'all so there we have it we cleaned my muzzle loader after a week of leaving it set, having shot 20 rounds of Blackhorn 209 through it, or 20 loads, whatever you want to call it. Um, no real major issues. I was able to clean it fairly easily. Everything except the breech plug, like I mentioned, was a little bit tougher to clean. But besides that, it seemed just like cleaning it the same day, no issues at all. Now, that doesn't mean that you should leave yours, you know, caked on in there after you shoot Blackhorn 209. This was just an experiment. And it's not lost on me that my muzzle loader is stainless, so that might play a part. If you're shooting a blued muzzle loader, you might want to clean it a bit quicker. It's less corrosion resistant. But with a stainless one, it seems like, at least in Texas, we don't have a whole lot of moisture in there. I mean, a little bit here and there, but it's not like, you know, the Pacific Northwest or something. No issue leaving it for a few days after shooting Blackhorn 209. As long as you get in there and clean it thoroughly, at some point, doesn't seem to be a problem. So I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this. I can't wait to make more videos for you.